Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be very fun, I'm very excited. A lot of you request to see Matt in all of my videos, so I figured I would give you what you want. So today's video is gonna be me cooking a healthy meal for my boyfriend, and he's going to rate it. Now, Matt would eat mac and cheese and um, burgers for every meal, so this will be interesting to try and get him to like something healthy that I make. So, I'm gonna make some baked chicken, roasted Brussels sprouts, and cilantro lime cauliflower rice. So, if you are interested, then just keep watching. Say hi. Hi. Are you excited? I am. I'm excited to try all this delicious food. Don't you love Brussels sprouts? Mm. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, I will try anything. Yay. So, the Brussels sprouts take the longest, so that's what we're going to start with. So, I have Zam here. Do you want to take that? You're just going to trim the tiniest bit off of the end. We do a nice zoom in for us, please? I don't know how to do that. Just come closer. <laughs> so you're just a little bit off the end, and then you're gonna have them. And if the leaves fall off, keep those, because they get crunchy and delicious. So we're gonna do that to all of them. <laughs> Okay, we've got our Brussels cut. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna take a plastic bag. If you have a bigger one, use that. I don't have a bigger one, so we're gonna have to split them up. Dump some Brussels in there. Don't forget the leaves, because they get crunchy and delish. Okay. And then you're gonna take your olive oil Open it. Then you're gonna dump about like two teaspoons in there, roughly. And then you're gonna take your seasonings. Onion powder and garlic powder, of course. Just do a couple dashes of that, whatever your heart desires. Okay, and then we're gonna do salt and pepper. Some pepper, some salt. Close your bag. And give her a good shake. You could do this on the pan, but it's easier to do it in a bag and then your, your hands don't get all gross. So I prefer this and I let it sit for a while. So give them a nice massage because they deserve it. All right, and then you're gonna let that sit in the fridge until we are ready to go, and we're gonna start on the cauliflower. Okay, we have cauliflower. I've actually never made it like this before, so this will be a learning experience for all of us. Do you like cauliflower? Not particularly, but I've never eaten it a ton, so. Okay. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. Then we're going to break it apart into our florets. Okay, we have our florets, as you can see. I've never done this technique before for my little cauliflower rice, so we're going to see how she goes. Um, we're going to use the cheese grater. I know, it's crazy. And we're just going to take the florets. Try not to grate your hand off. Um, that's a good tip. And you're just gonna get her away. This is harder than it looks. And that is what you're left with. Little fluffy cauliflower pieces that we're gonna turn into rice. So I'm gonna do the rest of this and We'll reconvene 
to put our Brussels sprouts in the oven. Okay, we're gonna preheat our oven to 415 degrees. Why, you might ask? Because one needs to cook at 400 and one needs to cook at 450, so I just did 415 because it feels right in my heart, so therefore you should do what feels right in your heart. He's giving it a whirl. Got our cauliflower rice, and that's just gonna hang out for a little bit because we're gonna put the Brussels in the oven. So I like to use aluminum foil because I'm lazy and it makes cleaning it up a lot easier. So we're gonna use the aluminum foil, get the Brussels out. Boom. He's a good cameraman, he's learning. My chicken, I'm uneven, there we go. My chicken's been brining in the fridge for about an hour, um, just in salty water. So we're gonna dump out this water. And you're gonna rinse them really good to get all the salt out. And then you're gonna pat them dry and place them on your cutting board. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to my chicken. Can you see? There we go. Okay, so I got the tenderloins just because I feel like they're easier to cook. Um, don't know why, but I'm gonna cut out that weird thing. Do you know what that is? I don't know what it's called. Tendon. Tendon. Yeah, I'm gonna cut out the tendon because it kind of freaks me out. All right, so we cut up our chicken. Well, not really cut up, but we like cleaned them out, you know. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing that we did with the Brussels sprouts, just so we don't have to like, I don't like touching things, like I don't like to, you know, so this is easier. Toss them in there. And then wash your hands, cause you just touched it. And then take your olive oil once again and pour. And then add all your seasonings. Again, garlic powder and onion powder till your heart's content. Onion powder. One more. And then we're gonna do salt and pepper. Your um propped up on my pepper. Please hold. And different from the Brussels, we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. Why? Don't know. Cause I think it, oh man, cause it tastes good. Just a little bit of that. And we're gonna lastly add some paprika, the spice that has no taste, but it looks pretty. Give her a toss and some love. And then I like to let that sit for just a couple minutes just so it soaks up the juices. And then we'll put her in the oven with the Brussels sprouts and the chicken cooks for like 25 to 30 minutes. And then next time I see you, we'll work on the rice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Making cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Garlic, which we don't have, but that's why God invented garlic powder. Okay, so we got cilantro. Do you like cilantro? I'm not sure. Okay. So we're gonna take a couple, and you just strip the leaves off. It says you need about one and a half cups. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that because yeah, 
Okay, so I've got all my cilantro. We're going to chop it up. Try and chop it as finely as you can. Okay, we're gonna transfer our cauliflower to our pot now. Nice and easy. So, get our pan, stick this. So to our pan, we're gonna add olive oil. Perfect. And then you're gonna add in your cauliflower. Okay, so this is gonna cook for about 15 minutes. Um, and then after it's done cooking, we're gonna add the cilantro and the lime. Be sure to check on your little babies in the oven and give them a good shake around because that is necessary. Okay, so our rice is almost done. So I'm going to zest my lemon. I mean my lime, I realized I just said lemon. We're gonna mix that in. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, then we're gonna add the juice of this lime. Then mix that. And then we're gonna add our cilantro. that a mix. You can also do this with regular rice. That's how I found the recipe. But I wanted to make it a healthier version and use cauliflower. So we're going to let that just cook for a second. And it's time to take out our Brussels. Oh baby. These look so good. How amazing they look. Yes, they're a little burnt, but that's how I like them. If you don't want them this burnt, just cook them for like 25 minutes on 415. I think that would be good, but I like them this way. So, yay. And then we're gonna wait a couple minutes and then take out our chicken. <coughs> Are you done? All right, guys. This is the final product. It looks so good. How do you feel? It looks really good. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to try it. Yum. Okay, it's the taste test of my masterpiece. What do you want to try first? Um, let's go with the cauliflower rice. The yep, okay. You try first. Don't lie to me. If you hate it, tell me you hate it. Tastes like lime. Mm-hmm. Cilantro lime. Oh, that makes sense. It's pretty good. Is it? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Is it tricking you into thinking it's real rice? A little bit. Really? I might have had to cook it longer. That's not bad. Maybe a little less cilantro and lime next time. It's very like strong. Mm -hmm. Overall, what would you rate the <clears throat> cauliflower rice? One to ten. Um, maybe like a seven. Really? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's a win. I mean, I would eat that again. Put okay. it that way. That's great news. All right, moving on to the Brussels sprouts. What did you do to the Brussels sprouts? Anything? I already told them what I did. Okay, well, I, I don't know what you did. Olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Okay. So you're, and then you just you're, roast them you're so regular. they get real crunchy. You're, I think you'll like them when they're crunchy because you say you don't like them mushy, right? Yeah. And these are really crispy. So you're... Just regular Brussels sprouts, which you normally do. Pretty good. 
pretty much. Okay. But they're more crispy this time. Mm hmm You like them? I like them when they're crunchy. I don't like them when they're not crunchy. Mm. So That's what would good. you rate that? I, I would rate that probably an eight. Okay. Like I would eat that all the time. I love the little leaves, they get so crispy. Mm. So good. That was good. Okay, chicken. On to the chicken. I'm kind of most nervous about the chicken. All right, chicken taste test. All right. Oh yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Like really good? Mm-hmm. Let me try. I've never brined it yeah. before. So I think that might have been the... Super tender. Mm. This is good. Yeah. I would rate that higher than either of those. Like a nine? I would, I would rate that about a nine or a ten. Like, I would eat that all the time. So, overall, what would you rate this meal? Mm. Seven and a half or an eight. Okay. I've cooked for you before. This was one of the best things you've cooked. I like the chicken a lot and I like the Brussels sprouts. The rice, it's got a different texture, mm -hmm. but other than that, and it was very strong with lime. Yeah. But other than that, it was really good. I really like that. Okay. She did a good job. Let me just uh... pat yourself on the back. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Nice. So, I think that concludes this video. I'm gonna keep eating. Matt's gonna keep eating. I'm also gonna keep eating. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know um, videos that you would like to see. Um, I'll have a video up next week. That will be a week in my life. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.